Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rocio and this is Risa's Brazils. And in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the aloe vera hair mask. It's the DIY aloe vera hair mask. You can do it yourself in the comfort of your own home. I've heard amazing things about this freaking mask, y'all. I just wanted to put it to the test. I'll cover all the benefits of aloe vera in this video, but it's supposed to help you grow out your hair faster and longer and stronger. And since I started the length and strength challenge last week, I just wanted to put it to the test and see how well it does on my hair. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so obviously you're gonna need an aloe vera leaf. I got mine at Walmart, but you can also get yours at Whole Foods. For this first time, I'm just gonna use aloe vera. I'm not going to include any other oils in this treatment today because I really wanna see what it does alone and how my hair and scalp will react to it by itself. Other things I'd suggest, a cutting board, a paring knife, a blender of sorts. I'm just gonna be using my magic bullet. You're also gonna wanna strain this in some kind of way. And the best way that I've seen it so far from other tutorials has been through a pantyhose. I got this at Walmart, it was like $3 for a pack of six. And when I'm going to strain it, I'll be putting it in this mixing bowl, just because it has this spout that will help get the juice from the bowl to this applicator bottle. This is the bottle that I had from an old rinse. I just cleaned it out and I'll be applying my aloe vera treatment into this. So now let's just go ahead and get started. With this whole leaf, you're basically gonna cut off the white part first. And really quick, this gooey part inside is the aloe vera juice that you'll be using. So let me show you the easiest way to get this out. You wanna cut the leaf into smaller sections and then slice off the prickly sides and then sort of carve out the flatter side of the leaf first. But please be very careful because the gel is very slimy and very slippery. But then you're gonna wanna carve out the more rounded side of the leaf. Then just throw your aloe vera gooey goodness into your mixer or blender or whatever you're using. Now, aloe vera is said to be the perfect remedy for stopping hair loss and helping to promote hair growth. This super plant has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties, and it also contributes to increased blood flow. Blood circulation to the hair follicle is critical for hair growth. This is important because an inflamed scalp and hair follicles adds more stress to the hair strand, causing slower growth and hair to be weaker in health. The healing substances in aloe vera can heal the damaged hair follicle and boost their hair producing functions. The plant's gel can break down dead skin cells and moisturize surrounding tissues. Seriously though, I can go on and on about the amazing benefits of this plant, but I'll go ahead and leave the link to my blog down in the description box below where I'll list all of the amazing healing properties for your hair and skin. Once you blend it all up, you're gonna get to this frothy but more liquidy gel. Now, because I use this cup that my Magic Bullet came with, I just place the pantyhose around the opening and flip the cup over to dump the gel into the bowl. This was my attempt at straining aloe vera. I think that I either needed better pantyhose or maybe a better method to straining because this time I felt that everything came through. The reason why this part matters is because if it's not strained well enough, you'll get aloe vera chunks left in your hair that just looks like flakes, but more on that later. Regardless, I poured that into my applicator bottle, washed my hair with a cleanser, and here we go. All right, y'all, so I just finished washing my hair and now it is time to apply my aloe vera mask. Um, this is all I have. That one plant, this is all it gave me. So now I kind of understand why some people have been adding oils, but I still wanted to try it out the first time with just the aloe vera. Because of the fact that I wanna focus on scalp health, and obviously the hair is what grows from the scalp in the first place, I'm gonna focus on the scalp first instead of distributing it through my hair, and then hopefully I'll have a little bit left and sort of like rig the rest in my hair. So again, with this being my first time, I think I was trying to be strategic with how much of the treatment I used onto the scalp. I found myself applying it into as many parts of the hair as I could and then just massaging it well into my scalp. Now I could definitely feel my scalp was pretty well saturated with the aloe vera, and to my surprise, I still had quite a bit left. So I decided then to apply the rest in sections to my hair. So with each section, I'd apply more directly onto the scalp, massage it in, and then pour a little bit onto my palms and rake it through my hair. Then I took my Denman brush to smooth my curls out. I twisted that section of hair, clipped it up, and moved on to the next section. And right before I was done, I noticed I had just a little more left, so I thought, screw it, I'm just gonna add it all to my hair, retwist it, reclip it, and then cover it with some sort of heat cap. All right, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm exhausted right now, and my camera died, so now I'm filming this on my cell phone, so I think I'm gonna call it a night. I am actually, well, first, this is what this is. This is the baggy method, I just have a hair cap, a uh, hot towel, which is not so hot anymore, and then um, another baggie on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove this top baggie and the towel, and I'm gonna remove the clips. 
um, because I'm gonna try to sleep on my hair if this will let me. I couldn't for the life of me find my satin bonnet at that second, so I just used a t-shirt towel to turban it up on top of my plastic cap. And honestly, the second I hit the bed, I remembered exactly where my satin bonnet was and eventually put that on to sleep. Now in the morning, excuse my designer eye bags. This is real stuff, okay? But I just took off all the layers of my caps and was left with curls that were still for me a bit damp. And while at first I was just gonna rinse it off with water, I found this. All right, y'all, so I'm not sure if you can see, but I've got tiny bits of the aloe vera, kind of like aloe vera flakes. Um, I did strain it, which is one of the reasons why they advise to strain the aloe vera rather than just applying it directly onto the scalp, like the chunks of aloe vera directly onto the scalp, because it will cause like, um, not necessarily flakes, but just like chunks of aloe vera and it'll be a little harder to get out. So I said that I was just going to try it out with water first, but I'm definitely going to use a conditioning cleanser. All right, so I washed my hair about an hour ago and this is what my hair looks like. It feels really, really soft right now. I don't have any product in it whatsoever. It's still a little damp back here, but it is incredibly soft and my scalp feels really, really clean. Um, I'm going to apply product just to see what it looks like. I know that I'm not going to see immediate results by today or by tomorrow. I know that this is something that I have to continue doing. I've seen people do this treatment on a weekly basis, but because I already mentioned that I was gonna try it on a monthly basis, I'm gonna to stick to that at least for the duration of the challenge because I am currently also doing the rice water challenge. So. No worries, I have a video coming up on that too, but I just wanted to show you all this in case you're also following the length and strength challenge. In case you wanna follow along with the different treatments and the different methods that I'm doing. So let me go ahead and style my hair and show y'all what it looks like um, styled, just so that I'm not ending this video with hair that doesn't really look that cute. Soft hair, but still not that cute. And I will finish the video that way. All right, y'all, so here we are with my final results and my curls feel a lot bouncier. They look a lot shinier and they are still incredibly soft. So I'm really pleased with this treatment. Like I said, I'm going to be doing it once a month during this challenge, the length and strength challenge that I challenged myself to do. I have seen people do it every week and they've also seen really great benefits and results after doing it once a week. So I think once the challenge is done, I'm going to challenge myself to try this once a week after but like I said I just want to share this video with you all in case you're participating in the challenge or in case you just want to try to grow your hair out a little bit faster so if y'all like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already all you have to do is click on that big bright right subscribe button and then after clicking on the subscribe button click on the bell because the bell is what's gonna turn on your notifications and then that way you'll never miss another one of my videos and let me know in the comment below if you're going to try this treatment or if you have tried the aloe vera treatment the aloe vera hair mask and if there's another treatment or method that you can think of when it comes to growing out your hair a lot faster let me know what it is in a comment below because i want to try it out that's basically it i love y'all un besito and i'll see you in the next video bye